Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have ATJ versus Alternative, and this is GOAT format, and let's just hop right into the video, and then we are going to see ATJ win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, so they get to decide they want to go first or second, and looking at the deck counts, we see 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, and then they will go ahead and decide to go first, and then looking at the opening hands, we have... Giant Rat, Lava Golem, Tribe, Ojama Trio, Scapegoat, and Enemy Controller. So, this looks like some type of burn deck, most likely. And then they have Sangan, Card Destruction, Nature, Greed, and Tune Table. So, this is an FTK deck, which is actually like really cool because, like, you know, GOAT format, FTK. Oh, I think it's cool to see. And then they're going to go ahead. And they're going to normal summon out Giant Rex and then pass. So they're not setting anything. It's a little bit interesting. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Greed. Oh, that's so good. I like. Okay, so if you don't know what some of these cards do, this card flips both the decks to be face up. So that way you can like see your next draw. Uh, this card, you can pay 500 Declare one card name, excavate the top card of your deck, and if it's the declared card, add it to your hand. So, you know, you're going to see what your next card is. So, like, it's a free draw pretty much. Uh, this card obviously lets you draw. And then this card, when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. And then they're going to normal summon, activate, go ahead and flip the decks. And then activate Oath, and then that gets Thunder Dragon, and then use Thunder Dragon to go ahead and add Thunder Dragons from the deck to the hand. And then activate Tune Table, and then that's going to go grab Tune Table, and then Effect Draw. And this is really good in the deck too, because you can bounce this and then use it again, pretty much get another draw. And then Tune Table, go grab Tune Table, and then activate that to go grab Tune World. Just getting a whole bunch of spell counters on this. And then activate, pay a thousand, activate it, then effect, draw. And this card lets you send two spells from your hand to the graveyard, then target one spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. And then activate, just to get a counter on there. And then activate Giant Trinade. And then bounce everything back. And then activate. Oh, uh, well, technically they're supposed to use this and then this. Because if they did this first, then it's kind of just like guessing what the top card is. Well, I guess they already knew, right? Or they drew off of this, then did that. So, I mean, they did a little misplay. They're supposed to do this, then that. And then, wait, I'm so confused. What, what just happened there? I'm going to look at the logs real quick. Oh, never mind. They used this to draw. Oh, I'm the dumb one. All right, fair enough. <laughs> then activate, pay 1,000, activate it, activate feather. That's going to go ahead and put pot of greed to the top of the deck. And you can see graceful is the next card. And then draw on the greed, activate greed, draw on the graceful. And then activate graceful. And then activate oath. And then, you know, they're going to draw into that. And then oath to grab this. Activate Giant Trinade, go ahead and bounce everything back to the hand. See how many cards they have in hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nice. And then activate. It's going to go ahead and flip the decks. And then use that, you know, or use this to draw into that. And then they're activating that. Uh, just to get a counter on this, activate Premature Burial. Bring out the other Royal Magical Library. And then use that, pay 500, draw on the reload, activate, and then pay 500, grab area B. And then activate, that's going to go ahead and discard some spells, grab back Trinade. And this is just going to be game. Uh, draw, activate giant Trinade, go ahead and do the bounce. Eventually it'll be game. And then effect, draw on the reversal quiz, activate Toon World. Then go ahead and premature burial, bringing out Thunder Dragon. Then activate this. And then they're just calling Cyberjar. Is there a reason why they didn't activate Nature first, then do that? I don't know. But they're going to discard, grab back Feather. And then go ahead and grab back Giant Trinade. Then Giant Trinade, bounce everything back. 
then activate feather, put back card destruction to the top of the deck, and then activate, activate reversal quiz, and then that's gonna go ahead, and if you didn't know what happened there, it's mill spell, and then send the field to the graveyard, and then switch life points with the opponent, so then your opponent only has, I believe they had 400 life points there, and then the equip spell burns for 500, so GG. That, the deck isn't like too crazy to watch, it's just like I, I wanted to show off like you know different decks from goat format because uh, there's a lot of different options to play other than chaos turbo or chaos control which is what 99 percent of goat players are playing right now i think it's kind of cool to show that stuff off but going on to the next game we are going to go ahead and see the burn player decide to go first opening hand is panda lava golem swords ring of destruction secret barrel and then charity and then they have Toon World, Reload, Nature, Oath, and Sangam. So they're going to go ahead and activate Graceful here. And then they just didn't discard. There, okay, alright, alright. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. <laughs> like, imagine, like, just draw three. Like, th just imagine. There's just ten times better than Pot of Greed. Wasn't even paying attention. Draw three, no problem. <laughs> Normal summon Sangan. And then pass. They draw Magic Cylinder. And then Normal summon out Panda. Set. Pass. You don't want to beat over this and give them Library. And then they draw Reload. Pass. Draw Pot of Greed. It's an interesting game. Draw Tribe. Oh, that's going to be insane. That's actually just game. Normal Summon Tribe, Effect, that's going to out Sangan, and then Sangan, go grab Royal. And then just go ahead and poke. Said, do I lose? Nah, not just yet, but that will be game right there. I mean, it's like a decent amount of damage here. And then Set, Pass, and then Flip Anti-Spell. And then they're going to Chain Reload, and that's going to go ahead and put everything back. But it's not like you can draw anything here. Yeah, they just draw all spells. Then pass, draw Trinade. Then, yeah, they can't activate that because anti-spell. Uh, but they can just go ahead and poke and then flip Secret Barrel. <laughs> and that's game. So, kind of an interesting game. Uh, it is cool to see anti-spell. That card's pretty good versus, like, this deck, the Monster Reasoning Gate deck. You know, you just want to stop them from ending the game quickly. Uh, if you can, like, stop them from using spells, it's, like, really good. Obviously, against a deck that you saw many spells that use game one, it was probably, like, 50. Like, anti-spell has got to be good versus that. But the opening hands for game three is Heavy Storm, Area B, Just Desserts, Panda, and MST. So, uh, if they just get FTK'd here, they get FTK'd. They don't have anything to stop it. And then they have Upstart, Nature, Toon Table, Toon World, Feather, and Royal Magical Library. So, this is, uh, this works. They're going to Normal Summon and then Activate Nature. And then go ahead and Toon Table, go grab Toon Table. And then use another one, go grab Toon Table. And then they can Library, draw one, draw one to Reload. Then Activate Toon Table. So they are playing multiple Toon World. Then Activate Upstart. Draw into the spell, and then reload. So let's see, what do they draw here? Whoa, World Decree. That's interesting. I guess, like, it's kind of like a backup plan. Like, if you can't FTK turn one, you can kind of, like, set this and help to, like, stop anti-spell. Because that card's probably just, like, super insane versus you. I'm assuming that's why. Then they're going to go ahead and use that, draw onto Feather, then activate Oath. Oh, that's so good here. Just grab Graceful, draw, and then discard, activate Toon World, and then draw. Shouldn't they have used this effect first to go ahead and do that? Or I guess kind of they want to Oath in the Oath. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough. Go ahead and grab the Thunder Dragons. Then activate Oath, draw onto Feather. Then activate Feather, go ahead and put back Graceful. Then activate Card Destruction, discard the hands. 
I don't think they're gonna draw anything here to stop it. Nope. Then oh, even like pot of greed at the top. Royal draw on the greed and then activate giant tornade. Yeah, this one hundred percent FTK. There's no way they don't do it here. Said, do you know what sucks? I had an interruption for game one. I didn't even notice. But didn't set it because I didn't know this matchup would be this. I had enemy controller. Oh, that does suck. Because you could enemy controller, take the Royal Magical Library, and that'd be huge. Yeah. I mean, they didn't know this this matchup. And then go ahead and greed. Now will go ahead and draw two. And activate nature. And then they can use that. Draw on the heavy storm. Activate oath. Pay 500. Activate oath. Pay 500. Activate Toon World, pay a thousand. Activate Royal Magical, draw a card. Said oof, you probably got it now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's like the second time I play this, I usually run Panda. Oh, Aggressive Panda. At least I know the deck's name now. I was just going to call this Burn. Said you're doing pretty well for second time. A mirror would have been cool. Normally it's hard to go for four, full combo. Then activate your need. Then go ahead and oath. Then activate another oath. And then use that to draw the Toon World. Then activate nature. Go ahead and flip the decks. Pay 500. Grab that. And then pay 500. Grab that. Said I have a lot of ideas for it too. I might PM you after this match. Oh, that's cool. Gotta see, like, the, the good sportsmanship, even though you're getting FTK'd. Then, you know, go ahead, activate, then giant trinade, bounce, and they're just playing around trying to, like, MST that there from the graveyard. And then use that to draw on the reload, then go ahead and oath, and then oath, and then activate area B, and then royal to draw on the royal. And then flip nature. Oath effect, pay 500, and other oath, pay 500. Use that, go ahead, discard, add back giant trinade. Then go ahead and trinade, bounce everything back. And then use that to go ahead and draw into upstart. And then upstart, draw area B. And then activate toon world, pay 1000. And then activate oath, pay 500. And then they're gonna grab reversal quiz. To they were supposed to use nature there, right? Because like, they didn't know that was at the top. I guess to be fair, they could have just called reversal quiz. And then if it's anything else, it doesn't matter. Because then they can just like activate area B, row magical library, draw into it. Oh, wait. Did they already know it was at the top? Yeah, I feel like they would have had to. Otherwise, like, you can't use Reversal Quiz without another card in deck, right? Where is it at? There's so many cards in hand, it's insane. Uh, so send all cards in your hand on field to the graveyard. Call the type of the card on top of your deck. Call it right. Okay, yeah. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. So they wouldn't have been able to do that otherwise. So I don't think they messed it up there. I just think I understood it wrong. I don't know, this deck's kind of whack to keep up with. Definitely not like a normal goat deck though. This is my probably say first or second time ever actually watching this deck like pop off. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be as like consistent as it is in this video. Otherwise, it'd be like way more popular in goat. But oh, it's cool to see though, like an FTK in goat format. A little bit cooler than like you know the T set pass. Said, sorry again, what a way to go, no problem, my deck is also unfair. Yeah, however, it's interactive. Fair enough. But, uh, seeing how long the match was, we can see that it was about 40 minutes long. That's not bad. I mean, that's not, like, great. Oh, wow, it was really just, like, 40 minutes of this deck comboing. Because game two was like rather quick, it felt like. So, dang, this deck takes a while to combo. It's kind of crazy. But, so we got to see the Royal Magical Library FTK versus the Panda Aggro deck. 
Uh, I think that's what I'm going to end up calling it. Probably going to look up online like what this deck is like actually called. But wouldn't surprise me if it's Panda something. I'm probably going to end up just calling it like Panda Burn or something. I don't know. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.